Man, I'm telling you guys, I, I've never been so sad. I mean, I get sad. I'm a sad person sometimes. But right now, I'm really sad. My update video, the six years video, and this video, I didn't even realize. I thought something was off because someone in my comments was like, Brandon, what's wrong with your voice? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I got a better mic set up than half the... Half the and I'm like... And I, I go to edit my video, and I'm like, why do I sound louder at some points? Well, I, I should be sounding the same volume. When I was moving my setup around, I hit this beautiful setting on my compressor called bypass that is a beautiful button that basically disables every setting I have so headphone warning do you know when I talk like this it actually hurts your ears compared to talking like this and you know whispering I'm not very loud and if I back up a little bit you can hardly hear me it's because it was all turned off watch this back on can't hear any noise if I talk really loudly or talk very quietly doesn't hurt your ears. Sounds great. I'm so sorry. That's an L for me. <sighs> why does that button exist? I know why it exists. I'm sad. Sorry about the audio quality. Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Pizza Hunter Brennan, and welcome back to another episode of Ark. This one is a little different. We're on the Ape Inspiration server playing the Aberration mod pack. And if you recall, there was a moment in the finale where I told you guys that the battle came a little bit too soon. I did not feel like I did everything that I wanted to. And I thought to myself that truthfully, I would be down to do a few epilogue episodes. And that's what today is going to be starting as, is epilogue episode number one. I don't know if that's epilogue episodes, a bit of a weird wording. Uh, we got a couple of new things going on here, by the way, too. I got a new face cam set up. I don't know if you guys like this or not. It's a little different. My game is over here, so you're seeing a lot more of a side profile. I like the feather. It's a bit more natural, and I like the portrait photo because it takes up less, like, of a square of the game. Like, I'm only... This point right here is, like, all that you get interrupted by, not, like, a giant block twice the size out. You know, it's, like... It's a little bit different, uh, so if you like this, then great. If you don't, that's disappointing, but too bad. <laughs> I'm going to try this out for a little bit, and I'll, as you guys heard in the video from yesterday, I'll probably wind up changing it. To talk a little bit less about ARK for a moment, though, hey, thank you guys for the support yesterday. Yesterday was the six-year video on YouTube, the annual anniversary video that I do. Kind of, you know, some of them have a purpose, some of them are just recaps, whatever it may be. And yesterday I talked a lot, and my... God, I was not expecting that response. Truthfully, I wasn't. I wanted to cry. I think I might have at one point, being honest, but... Man, you guys are great. Seriously. Like, I've kept a really good audience over the years, even through all the shit that I've done. And like I said, I'm not gonna promise anything anymore. I'm just gonna hope to regain your trust. Or regain your... Your... Faith? Viewership? I guess... I guess return... Not viewership, because you're here. You're obviously watching. Regain your trust. Yeah, let's just go with trust, would be that thing. Uh, and also, I do have to say, uh, unfortunately, with coming back to ARK, and, you know, like I said, my fault. I've been away for a bit. We have to hold some funerals. I'm so goddamn sorry. This was not even... It wasn't in my plans. I, you have to hit, see it from my side. I messed up. I'm not making any excuses. But... Our dire bear no longer has a partner. You need food. I will get food for you. This episode today. 2K and the quad is still here. I don't remember if there was anybody else out here. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Oh, wow. I really don't think... I don't think there's anybody else. I think it was just 2K and the quad and these two guys. The dire bears. I don't think it was anybody else. If it was, I'm an asshole. And uh, this, this is the one that kind of hurts the most here. What is this? What is that? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. Our shiny has passed away. And take four have both passed away. I think take... Didn't take four... No, take four stayed alive. The dodo died. That was a little while ago. But, uh, you know, the shiny otter on my shoulder. Now in otter heaven. <laughs> I was looking at videos of otters a couple days ago. Wow, they're adorable, and I feel so bad that I even dared let one starve to death, but 
Uh, like I said, I've been away on here for a while. Uh, graciously, thank you, Miola, for keeping the server up this long. I don't know how much this is costing you, but I promise you I'll repay you if you ever want me to. So, hey, anybody in the comments or anybody on the YouTube channel right now watching this, the same as I've been streaming on Twitch, so anybody watching, please give some love to Miola because he, he should have shut this thing down, like, weeks ago, but decided to keep it up because I asked him. And even during my absence, he still kept it up. That's my boy right there. I've been through thick and thin. I mean, that's not true. But I know the guy, and he's a great guy, and we, you know, we talk, so... <laughs> he's a really great friend. I'm not that close to them, but I definitely feel like if I was to be closer with him, he'd be a really, really great guy and a good stand-up person. So, thank you, Miola, for keeping the server online. Apart from that, I mean, what I want to talk about, and like, what's the reason we're here before we, you know, because we've talked already a lot. Point of the epilogue is to address two things. Number one, I'm defeating Rockwell on my own solo. That's happening. I don't know if Gamma, Beta, or Alpha. We defeated the Gamma side of things, and we got the, uh, the, the headset, the headband. You know, this, like, little guy right here, and... Wait, do I not have anything? Wait. Where's all things in my inventory? Did I put things away or am I blind? Hold on a second. Do I still have it? Otter mask. Right. I might have put a lot of things away and I'm pretty sure I did at one point. Uh, I think I'm... Wait, zero. Wait, zero items. Wait, what do you mean? Otter mask. Personal inventory, all dials, all structures, everything. Literally everything. Where is the otter mask? Personal inventory, transfer. Zero total items transferred. I think it's because it's not permanent. So we got the otter mask, and we got these things from defeating Rockwell. I don't think I ever showed this, but I set these up right here. We got the uh, Rockwell Trophy wall mount right here. So this little uh, guy, the uh, Rockwell Trophy Gamma. So this is the, Gamma is the easiest, Beta is moderate, and Alpha is the hardest. Uh, place it on a trophy wall mount. So we got this guy, and then the flag as well. There's a couple other things you can get from defeating Beta, and I believe one really cool thing from defeating Alpha. Both things I would love to do, but I don't know if it's possible or not. So if it is, then great. If it's not, then whatever. But we're defeating Rockwell on our own, and we're taking the time to tame things. Because that's what you guys were really upset at me about in the series. I... I focused a lot on like item progression and building stuff and like getting a metal base for example we're getting this tech tier by the way too have to have to get a tech tier no doubt about it um but i i never really tamed anything i never took a time to tame my own rock drake i never tamed a uh a reaper uh an out what is it called the reaper guys up on the surface surface reapers reaper kings i never tamed any one of those i never got pregnant i need to get pregnant okay i need one of the reapers the, the Reaper Kings to go all prego on me. Or get me all prego, alright? So that has to happen. That's gonna be a fun episode. Give my belly out for nine months. Nine minutes. I don't know how long it would take in game. Uh, but yeah, you guys just didn't like the fact that I didn't really take the time to tame anything and make any acquaintances. I made a couple, but it's like, you know, not really a great of a series. That's why we're here. And uh, apart from that, the only thing that I want to say is... Uh, Jim and Italian OD... I mean, nobody's playing on the server anymore. So it's kind of like, we're on a single player adventure right now. Not much different from before, let's be honest. Jim and Italian were both very, very grateful, uh, or gracious, rather, in lending me their base. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, it's not really, but whatever. Uh, they lent me their base. So anything that I want to take from there, I am pretty much allowed to. I don't know if it was specific. I think they said that they added, like, a lot of stuff into their vaults. So if I ever wanted to go over there and feast on any of it myself... That is an option for me. And, I mean, thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I think it's kind of fair, you know, to... Well, I mean, not fair. That's the wrong word. But it makes sense to use the whole server, considering I'm not... Nobody else is playing, and I'm just kind of finishing up a couple of things. You are dying today. Thousand damage. And it hardly does anything to you. This thing? I tried using it in the boss battle. This thing does shit all. I don't know, man. Like, I understand it's good... But I think it's because Ark, this is an item that can't be upgraded. Meanwhile, it's not better than this because Ark doesn't really ever expect you to legitimately get a 700% damage shotgun since that wouldn't really be possible. You getting an Ascendant one in the first place is rare as hell. Very unlikely. And getting a 700%? Eh, not really a thing. So, like, I did no damage to this guy. One shot with a shotgun. You can see the blue. It says only 35 and actually maybe I did more damage than I'm thinking. Maybe I did more damage than I'm thinking right now. Hold on. Oh, I missed. 
I missed. Damn it. I want to tame one of these guys, too. I need to tame a Basilisk. There's a lot of things that I got to tame. Oh, no. Maybe it does a lot. Never mind. I thought it does a lot less. But no, that, that one-shot it for the most part. And these are stealing on my polymer. You know what? I'm in a good mood. Take my polymer. That's fine by me. So we're going to be taming a lot of stuff this episode. Uh, <laughs> or these epilogues, rather. And uh, making our way to defeat Rockwell. Now, I do want to say really quickly here. I don't have this looked up right now. So let me go ahead and look it up. Uh, Arc Gamepedia. To be able to reach Rockwell on Alpha, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video, listen, I know there's a lot of lurkers. I know not the majority of you type in the comments. You just watch the videos. But I need your opinion on this, okay? To be able to go in to actually fight... Um, hold on, let me see here. What do I need? Right. So if I wanted to fight Gamma, I would need an artifact of the depths, shadows, and stalker. So I would need to defeat the three caves of the game. Easy. We could do that. I mean, I don't know if easy, but I mean, I would hope so if I want to do this alone. Um, we would need an artifact. No, actually, that's it, I believe. Yeah, so we would just need three artifacts. And that's all we would need to be able to fight Rockwell at his Gamma form, which he already did. To fight him at his beta form, we need all of that, plus four Basilisk Scales. Eh, not that big of a deal. Twelve Nameless Venoms. Kind of a big deal. A Reaper Pheromone Gland. Which, uh, let me see here. Reaper Pheromone Gland, uh, is used to summon Aberration Boss. Extracted from a Reaper Queen. You get this from killing a Reaper Queen. So we would have to kill a Reaper Queen. And you get four to five of those, and we would need a total of twelve. Or we need a total of two, rather. So, kill a Reaper Queen, basically. You get that gland, and that's what you need. And then a Rock Drake Feather. So, you'd have to kill a Rock Drake and take its feather. Oh, my Rock Drake! I refuse to believe that he's dead. Please tell me my Rock Drake is still alive. Up here, somewhere. Oh, God, I will never forgive myself. It has to still be up here. I I think it is. Please tell me that it is. Rotrick, I love you. Do not make me lose... No. Dude, if my Rotrick is gone, I'm gonna cry. Where did I leave it? Wait a minute. No, my Rotrick's not over at... I thought it was over at, uh, Piao Tribe's base. Over there in the blue zone where we were at for the finale. I don't think I brought it over there. I might check that video. I might actually check that video to confirm if I did or not. Because I'm not sure, but I don't believe that I did. Is it over here? It might be over there as well. I'm not sure. I don't see it over here. Okay. So I do not believe that's over here. No, I would have rendered it by now. Not over here. We did retrieve it from down below. Please tell me it didn't starve. Wait, I can check the tribe logs. Hold on, I'll go up here just to see if it if it's where I think it is, and I'll probably check the tribe logs to make sure. Because I can see what passed and what didn't. There's things I gotta remember. But as I was saying, though, for us to do the alpha, we would also need an alpha basilisk fang, an alpha carcanos claw, we have one of those, and an alpha reaper king barb. So basically, we would need to kill three different kinds of alphas. This is the question that I have for you guys in the comments. I don't know if he died or not. If I was to try and do alpha on my own, do you want me to take the time to get all three alpha items, or would you prefer if I spawn them in? I'm going to assume to myself that it would be fair to try and get all three legitimately, so it feels like I did it. But then again, you guys are completely fine with me doing an element the cheating way. Yes! I'm happy. Thank God. Oh, you're fine. That's what I thought. I'm like, there's no way you're dead. There's no way this guy died and a freaking dire bear lived longer. He's got meat in him anyway. Points available, one. Let's put that right into weight. 215. Beautiful. So, you guys can let me know. I mean, I always thought that the majority of you guys were down for legitimacy. But it seems like a lot of the times you're just down for whatever gets the content done. So, I mean, if you want me to spawn in, fine. If not, then we can try looking for some alphas. I mean, really, it's only finding an alpha basilisk and an alpha reaper king. So, I mean, you know, I've already found alpha carcanos. I already have an alpha carcanos claw. I believe it's over... I think it's inside of here. Are you in here? 
Yeah, right there. The Alpha Carcanos Claw. A very beautiful item that we would need for that. Uh, we have a lot of more stuff in here, I believe, too. Yeah, we got some stuff. So, what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is this is going to be my boss spawning area. So, I know exactly what I have to be able to spawn this guy in if I wanted to. So, Alpha Carcanos Claw. Okay, that's item number one. I'm going to move the artifact off of this pedestal because I want to keep this all in a singular area inside the fabricator. So I just know what I have. So I know what I... Wait, I have the otter mask in here. Oh my god, all this was invisible! Wait, was this invisible or am I stupid? This was all invisible. I swear to god this was not here until I started transferring items. We got the alpha. We got the arm mask. You think I'm not going to wear that? There's no doubt in my mind that I'm not going to. Look at this. We are an... Oh, God, it's not the most flattering thing in the world, my hair and my beard, but this is in honor and loving memory of the shiny, okay? Mr. Blue Sky. God, I miss that guy so much. Anyway, we have a lot of... Uh, so we're never going to run out of element. element. So... Artifact of the Depths and Alpha Carcanos Claw. I don't believe... So, Basilisk Scale, Nameless Venom, Reaper Pheromone Gland. I just want to see if I have any of these things. I don't think I have any of them, but it's just good to make sure. Uh, alpha... Okay, so that's the only Alpha thing that I have. Rock Drake Feather. No, I don't have that. Nameless Venom. Don't have that. Basilisk Egg. Not Scale. Artifact of the Depths. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, okay, that's... Reaper, Pheromone Glen? No. Okay. So we don't have any of that stuff, which is, it makes perfect sense. I don't, I was never a time where I actually went and got any of that stuff. So let me go ahead and put the remainder of this stuff inside of the vault here. And, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like, we got a lot of stuff to do aside from taming as well, because we got to go exploring. I want to see every part of the map. Oh, do not follow me there. I want to see every part of the map. Mule, uh, I watched one of his videos. He went to like 60, 80 on the map. 60 lat, 80 long. And it looked gorgeous. I want to check that out for sure. So let me just put some stuff away and I'll be right back. I'm thinking it over and I remember how I uh, I made my health 700. And I got rid of a good amount of my weight. I kept my stamina. But my melee damage, my movement speed, are, and my fortitude are all back to zero. So pretty much if I get hit by a basilisk, I'm going to pass out. Or whatever the like spider things are. Little scorpions or whatever. So uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, I think I might keep it though because I don't really know if I want to go back and make a bunch of engrams or whatever Like it's not really on my priority list. I suppose uh, I've only got some stuff in here that I need really actually a tech rifle I kind of only need one for right now 80% I got not entered ammo. I'm actually gonna go and swap that with the one that I've gotten here It does suck that you can't upgrade tech armor or tech items rather uh, So that's a little bit unfortunate, but let me go ahead and I think I'll put this away in here So yeah, I don't really you know what we're gonna do? I wanna take on another cave, I think. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take on a cave this episode, I think. Just to kinda get back in the swing of things. And I've only done one cave and I've done it multiple times. I would love to see what others look like. Especially because we, you know, we need to get the artifacts. So, uh, let's go on an adventure. Cause I don't know where they are. So the two other artifacts that we need are the artifact of the shadows and the artifact of the stalker. And I think we're going to go with the shadows because that is in the bioluminescent area of the map. Actually, I don't know if it is. Maybe it's not. It might be like right toward the near entrance of it. But it is at 5565. As we're looking at that right now. Have I even been there? Yeah, it's like right on the edge of where I have been at one point. I don't know if I was looking for the cave at the time. Also, I love how you can see the map a lot more clearly when I have the uh, jetpack going, so that's really cool. So we need to get all the way over there, and I think I might hop over on my wingsuit right now to fly over quickly. Uh, Jim and Italian did set me up with a teleporter to get over to their area a lot faster, although I can't place the teleporter to save my life. I'll need to figure out exactly how that works, but yeah, a little bit unfortunate. So let me fly up to here, and I believe at this point it'll be fine to go ahead and equip this. And go on a nice little stroll throughout the world. So yeah, 55, 65. The stalker one is all the way at the bottom, like 90, 50. We have not been anywhere even remotely close to that area. And I'm excited to see what that looks like around the time when we get there. But for right now, not the case. I'd rather stick on... You know, I want to do this in a, a linear path. We've already done the easiest case right next to where I live. I mean, that's not a challenge at all. And I mean, the thing is, none of these are going to be challenging, I would say. 
because we have godlike tech gear. We might die to something. You know, I think there's a couple things that pierce through armor, but I mean, it's negligible for the most part. I don't really know how much materials we'll need because I did give a lot of shotgun ammunition over to Miola. They gave her about 200. Look at all this right here. So I don't think we're going to have a problem freezing right now or anything like that. We're going to stay away because this is not the radioactive area or the elemental area. Look at this though. Like just for a second. Look at how beautiful this is. Part of the reason, too, you know, I, I, I got comments when I started Pixar. Oh, I wanted to land there. That's okay. I got comments when I started Pixar. Brandon, play regular arc. This sucks. And although I understand, you know, like the upset of some people not really liking different games or whatever, Ark Survival is such a gorgeous game at its core. You, you can't replace this with like a voxel based system. You can't. Pixar is beautiful in its own sense, but I mean, in terms of real depth, you can't beat Ark. This is a gorgeous game. And I, it, it's part of the reason why I am fully content coming back to it. I don't want you guys to think that I'm doing this just because I don't have any more content on my channel. This is something that I, I did not want to let go of when we defeated the boss. And I said, I could do so much more content on this game. Because I can and I love it. Thank you for the defecation at the perfect time right there. What level were you? Level 16. Okay, not that great. Uh, so anyways, we need to be looking around for the entrance here. It is right in the middle of... Which square am I looking at? 60 and 70. So we need to go a little bit further this way here. This should not give me any radiation or freezing. It shouldn't make me frozen. I'd hope not at least. Because I know that was an issue before. My health is 700 for Christ's sake. Yeah, this is right on an edge where I had not explored before. Wow, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Dude. <laughs> Man, it's like I've never played another video game before in my life. Can someone just tell me why I've, I freak out so much over this game? I, I just I just do. I don't know. It's such a beautiful game. It's like I've never played, you know, like other video games. I don't play many video games, to be fair. So I guess it kind of makes sense, you know, for me to be freaking out like a little child over things that you guys might not really feel the same way about. But anyways, 55, 65, 9. I do have this little sucker right here. Which means I didn't even plan to bring this thing, but I'm damn well glad I have it. So 55, 65, 9. So right here. Okay. And we need to go further down south. I can't even see because of this. 54, so it's a 55, 2. Is it in the water or is it at this little platform here? Why do I feel like it's in the water and that makes perfect sense? Because we haven't had a water cave. 54.7. 55.2 is what I'm looking for right now. What's up, Karkinos? Hey, buddy. You want to taste my plasma rifle? Do me a favor. Open wide and say Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, yeah, that stings, isn't it? See, like, I, I didn't understand that it actually did a lot of damage because it didn't show, like, a lot of blue, but, I mean, yeah, that's pretty freaking good. And then we can just go ahead and swap over to this and one-shot it. Level 44. It's all too. It's not bad. We got a couple of these guys down here. We got some crystal as well, too. Really nice. Crystal, you know, I don't... Ooh. I don't know if I'm really going to be a fan of gathering materials in this game. I'll tell you that much. What the hell are you? I don't know what you are, but... Dung beetle. <laughs> Tiny I think I knew that. I just want to shoot it anyway. So, a yeah, GPS right here. 55 55-2. 55-2. 55-2. 65-9. Oh, it is in the water. Okay. Well, thank God. Oh, is it down here? Is this it? Oh, boy. All right. Well, I mean, thank God we've got tech armor. <laughs> thank God we got tech armor. Is this the cave? Oh, the lag. Is this the cave? Is it up here now? I believe it is. Yes, it is. Ooh, okay, baby. Ooh. We're gonna cheese through this thing right away because obviously, I mean, we defeated Rockwell and now I'm going back to, to defeat a cave. You kind of understand the basicness of this for the most part. Anyway, let me, uh, see, we got all these guys down here. They're looking quite beautiful. Oh, there's Nameless, of course. So this might not be the easiest little cakewalk. Okay, that makes sense. What do we have down here? What are you? 
Okay, you're just... I thought you were somebody I needed to collect. I'm not used to seeing those guys too frequently. Alright, so... The, the nice thing about this is that we're wearing tech armor when dealing with these guys instead of wearing my radiation armor. But I will have to use my radiation armor, I believe, for the third cave. Unless that area is not radioactive. That'd be nice if it wasn't. But I have a feeling it's not. So I'm probably gonna have to, like, upgrade my gear to be able to do that. We'll see. Uh, either way, though. Looking beautiful as all... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy shit, it's gorgeous. It's... I don't even want to fly over it right now to, like... I don't want to fly over it, even though I know that I can. Because I just want to run this thing and make it fair, you know? 700 health, I'm not going to die. I mean, that's not a thing that's going to happen. It's not. <laughs> I'm so certain of that, right? Uh, yeah, that's always what happens, you know? <laughs> You're so certain of it, and then... Before I even know it. Shit, man. I got to hydrate. Hold on. Mm. Okay, so we're down here. And then, uh... Where are you? What the hell are you? What are you? Oh, Seeker. It, it showed a different name, and I'm like, wait, is that not a Seeker? It looked like something different. Yeah, and then we got this guy over here. Hey, um, I actually would love to know, how much damage does this thing do to an, uh... I don't know if they're called alphas or whatever. Or what they are. The Seekers are hard as shit to hit, man. How much damage does this do to you? If I was to stand right here... You're not gonna stop moving, are you? Yeah, you are. Alright. That is gonna kill you. 128. My god, they've got a serious amount of health. And then what are you, by chance? You are a... What are you? Female Aberrant Electiphorus. Understood. Alright. This is so gorgeous, man. The people who work on this game for map editing must have had a great time with it. A lot of crystal over here. Uh, my weight's not really that high, so I'm not going to focus on getting any, like, resources like that right now. I don't really know the direction I'm supposed to be going, considering I kind of flew around a little bit. I probably shouldn't be up here, I don't think. Or maybe I should be. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. This... Uh, is this where I'm supposed to be going? No, it just leads me right back down. Okay. I think, um... I'm trying to look for an artifact right now. Let me fly up here. I want to see what this all looks like up here. Because we have climbing picks, right? You know, when I needed those. Thank God I don't anymore. So you can definitely get up to here legitimately. I don't really know what this is meant to be, though. If there's any point of this area. I mean, it looks cool. And then we got the waterfall down here. So this whole cave continues on. And then you got this giant-ass thing over here. You got some purple, some blue rocks. Blue gems over here. A lot more crystal. A lot of crystal. I mean, this area is much more plentiful with crystal than um, the fertile land ever was. And what the hell are you? What are you? I can't hurt you, can I? No. <laughs> Pardon me while I shoot a rock. What are you? This is so weird. Is this the heart of something? That'd be a weird looking heart. No, I don't think it's the heart of anything. But I, I feel like you're trying to tell me to go down here, so I'm gonna go down here. Yep, this looks like the way. Alright. If I've gotten lost, I've gotten lost, and it's on my ass, but... Oh shit. Nope, leave me alone. I can still move even while I'm stunned! Oh wow, tech armor's amazing. Get me out of here. Epilepsy warning is real. Is this still the cave? Holy shit! Wow, this is still the same cave. I really missed out not going through here. Damn, what a beautiful sight. Let me eat a little bit more food right now. Kind of get some grub on. The seeker didn't really even... Wasn't even bothered by me, to be honest. I'll stay up here. I'm gonna stay away from down there. That looks like trouble. I mean, what trouble used to be, at least. You, you little shit. I don't know if you can pierce through tech armor, but I'm gonna want to stay away from you as best I can. Seeker. Ooh, that one was good. That was a good shot. That's like getting a headshot tack pump on the on Fortnite. <laughs> it, you just feel the connection, and it feels nice. I hope I didn't miss the artifact by now, otherwise I'm sure you guys are screaming at me. If you've seen this cave before. I don't know how many of you guys that are watching Ark have actually played Aberration. I'd imagine an okay amount of you. Tired. All right, I need to get some stamina back. Can I break through this? Oh, I can. Is there anything back here by chance? 
I need to kill some things in a moment here. This looks like there's something behind here. I just want to see. I don't know how big this rock is. I think it might be the entire color. Yeah, it is. Secret area? I think it might actually be a secret area behind here. Hold on a second. Oh, my voice cracks and everything. And while you deal absolutely no damage, point two. Oh, buddy, keep your day job. Hey, is this going to hurt? Close your eyes. <sighs> oh, it is a secret area. Ooh. If this isn't damn cool, this is how I get lost. <laughs> okay. A little secret area. I don't really know what the point is, but man, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Saying that a million times over. I can't harvest these, can I? No, just like regular, regular bushes. Okay. So, wait, are there any secret areas back here? I don't think so. That one stuck out pretty, pretty obviously to me. Not seeing anything over here that would be worth my time. That's weird. You got a, a rock right there that could be broken. Nothing on the ceiling, nothing on the floor. You got two rocks that could very obviously be broken, but they don't lead to anything. Why? That's so lame. I mean, it's it's cool that this even exists, but like, what's the point? You know? There's someone over here. Nope, this is just an area I'm gonna get my character stuck in and have to slash kill myself with. I'm good. I'm fine. Slash kill. Minecraft days. <laughs> oh god and we had a little bit more of that a little bit more of that yeah i need to remember the uh the cave over by my place also has that like little uh lectoplasm effect so i mean i get it maybe that's where i need to go to get the artifacts i think i might have missed the artifacts hold on was this where i came from anyway i don't know if this is where i came from or not I don't recall. And I'm stuck by a million things right now. I don't even know where I am. I probably need to go through here. At least I'm assuming. Yeah, I think I just came from that way. So me going through here is what's necessary. Oh, shit! Hey, buddy! Holy shit. Okay. Suddenly, it's got a little bit more interesting. And I need to poop really badly. I had Jack in the Box earlier, and it's probably the worst decision I've had in a while. Cocooned? Yeah, I bet. 51 damage! Oh, that's great! Yeah, real nice. Lovely. Reapers are here. That's... Okay, that's the thing I didn't expect. What's up here? Anything up here? I'm really losing my way around here. I did not think Reapers are gonna be this way. I don't think I'm gonna die to them, but... You know, again, death is not something I feel is gonna be a possibility. But it's real interesting to see them here. How much damage does that deal to you? Pretty good amount. That's a pretty good amount, actually. Kill the Carcass level 16. I might actually... I might be able to kill this Reaper, depending on time. Seems you're running away. My game crashed. Oh, no. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on, that's not what meant to- that is not what meant to happen. I don't know the laws of how these things work. I'm loading the mods right now. Ignore this server, that was just something I did to get a thumbnail for something. I don't even know why I joined it. Oh, she had a PvP. Please tell me that I did not die. I don't think I would've, and it- I mean, it doesn't matter if I die- I mean, it, yeah, it does. Actually, it really does. I need to- I need to poop anyway. I'll be right back. Okay, so I believe... Yep. <laughs> really great time to take a video back in, Brandon. You did a great job. Just give everybody the same freaking warning that they needed prior. I think this is the area with the... Uh, yeah, okay, it was. So, where's the boy? There's the boy. Now, last time I was shooting you, you cl crashed my client. The question is, will you do the same thing again? I hope not, but I would love to kill you. If that means that I could possibly get some good stuff from you. Although, I don't know if you're going to allow me to kill you. I can't see how much health you have. But if that's all doing 13, how much does this do again? This does... 51. Okay, so that's pointless to use. This is a little bit better. 
Yeah, this is a little bit nicer. Because the shotgun does... Oh, actually, the shotgun does much more. Oh, never mind. I really don't know if I should be wasting my shotgun pellets on this right now, if it's even worth it. I don't know how much health these guys even have. But if I'm going to kill this thing, the shotgun's the best choice. And if I don't start seeing... Oh, yeah. Ooh. Subterranean Reaper King is down. Oh, baby. So the question is, what do we get from your pretty ass? <laughs> A little weird way to say it, but... I mean, you know. Let me go ahead and kill you really fast so you don't mind. A little quick, Karkinos. If you don't mind, level 102. Oh, damn, I got a real special gift for you in a second here. Say cheese, bitch! Oh, I didn't kill you. Damn, that would have been epic. One hit. Should do. Two hits. Alright, two hits. So what do we get from you? I can't access your inventory by chance, or do you not have an inventory? Do you not have an inventory? You definitely have an inventory. Why can't I not access your inventory? I can access your inventory. I can't access yours. Do you not have an inventory? Hmm, weird. Might as well break it down like this, then. Uh, hide, raw meat, that's it. Hmm. Nothing inside your body. Very interesting. A little strange as well, too. So, this is the area I was assuming I needed to go near. And then head down over this way. Probably gonna need to go back down to the water. Yep. Oh my. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is all making too much sense, even though I still feel like I'm getting lost. Where am I on the map compared to where it says I need the artifact? Hey, there it is! Whoo, you're looking beautiful. Don't mind if I take a quick picture of you, because you are gorgeous. Hello, 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 daddy. That was a screenshot, print screen, but it's all the same. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. And that'll be a regular screenshot. There we go. Get it straight forward. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's that's gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I love taking screenshots, man, because I'm here. I might as well look at it prettily, you know? Prettily? I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. Artifact of the Shadows! It'd be so cool if, like, the whole place started collapsing when you did that. Damn, that'd be really cool. And is this all, like, little water right here? Just, like, the tiniest little water droplets. Why did someone add that? Look at how small these little water particle are. It is. My brain is somewhere else tonight. It's late. I apologize. Just like tiny little water particles. Like little droplets. It's not even a waterfall. Man, that's funny. Alright, so... Question is now, how the hell do we get out? Because I would love to get out legitimately rather than just dying. Because I know I can just die and get my stuff back. But I would love to see if there's a... More reasonable way to leave this place. I just don't know if there is. I don't know if there's a cave exit. Like, there is a cave entrance, or if it's the same thing. Because this all leads to the same way. We got the artifact, and it's already respawned. I can't pick you up again, can I? Pretty sure I can't. Yeah, no. Can't pick you up again. Already back, though. I'd spared no time at all. I think, um... Did I come up from this way, or did I go through there? I think I need to go down here. Do I need to go down here? Or did I cut? No, 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 I came through here. Okay, hold on. So, from here, I need to go up and to the left, I guess? Because this is the only area that I haven't gone through. A little flat platform right now. My movement's probably bothering some people, and I apologize. It's been a while since I've operated this piece of machinery right now. Ooh. Okay. Very ominous, very creepy. Blue Carcanos over there. This looks like the exit. Then again, I have no idea. This whole place is very... There's a lot of everything here. So I'm not really sure what looks like what. I'm just kind of guessing. Like, oh yeah, I think this... This seems like an exit. But we don't actually know. We'll find out in a second here. Do I have to go up? Oh my god! Relax. You're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. Is it up here? It would look like it. Okay. Alright, so from here and then flying through this way, I guess? Oh yeah, I'm not going fast enough at all. Whoo, just keep it going, please. There's so many bad critters. There's so many bad critters. Tranquilize, this could kill me. Being Trank could kill me. As a red painted seeker. Looks beautiful. Get me out of- do not do- I swear it. The fuck is happening? 
Pardon my language. I just got... Oh, it's okay. It's these, it's these guys. All right. Don't want me. I'm just going to blast your asses. Yeah, you're all you're all done. You're not even worried about me. Apologies. You know, I don't drop F-bombs unless it's entirely necessary. But I think that was entirely necessary. Um, Do I need to go down lower, I think, to get out? I'm pretty sure I do, right? I think I go down lower now to leave. If I recall. Maybe not. No, I do not. Where do I go from here? Was it above like this, or do I have to go from this way? Because I just want to find my way out, and then I'll consider it a success. Because if I can't leave legitimately, it's like, why get to the artifact if I can't exit? You know what I mean? And it does make sense, too, in a way. There's no exit, quote-unquote. This is where we had to go down. Okay, so we are going backwards. I believe I need to go up into the... I need to go up this way here. With the cave that was over in my house, the exit was the entrance. It just kind of looped you around. So, makes sense. And I believe this is all very... Yeah, that little charge bug right there. I remember that guy. Ran down this way. And then I believe it's just a little bit further... Is it through the pink here? I think. My brain, hello. Memory, please. Serve me well. I don't think you're going to serve me very well. No, but you don't look like you're going to serve me well at all. Insufficient stamina. I mean, I could have done better, but... Nameless, please. Leave me alone. Seeker. I'm gonna get a 360 on you. Miss that shot, please. That's two... That's... That's 247, Tango! Tango Alpha Charlie Delta. You're not even hurting me. You're just kind of seeking. What's up, Seeker? 308? Alright, better. Was this the way I came in from? I believe it is. No, it is not. This is just above now. Where the hell did I come from? Where was the way that I came from? Was it down there? No, I don't think it was. Oh, this whole thing's a maze. Hmm. I don't remember. Is that bad? Is that bad? I don't remember. I feel like these are things I should remember. It wasn't really that long ago. I don't know. Just to confirm, was it down here? Because it could have been against the wall. No, I don't think so. I'm so sorry I'm making you guys have to deal with this. Is it up here? Or is this all loop back around to the... Is this going to loop to where I think it's going to loop to? God damn it. Okay, so it's not here. I don't remember where the hell I came from. So I'm reviewing over the footage. And, uh, I missed something. I think, at least. Hold on. So, these are the charge bugs over here. We're on the opposite side. I believe, if I'm not a dumbass, this little charge bug right there... Is that gonna hit him? Oh! <laughs> I gotta remember this thing's accuracy is, like, perfect. It's to the left. I think. And I think I'm a dumbass. Am I? Yep. This tiny little thing over here, I couldn't find. I'm like, where the hell did I come from? How am I not finding this? Tiniest little hole in the wall, man. Tiniest little hole in the wall. You are dying. I'm not letting you live. I'm sorry. I'm not letting you live. <laughs> you're just staying by there. Seeker as well. You're not dying. You're not living either. I don't even know what I'm saying at some points. There you go. You're dead. Perfect. I think it should be everything. I love this tech rifle. I wish it didn't have durability and it just took tech, like, the, uh, tech for the ammo. It's late. <laughs> I need to go to bed. I wish it didn't have any durability and it just took ammo. Because, I mean, element isn't infinite. I mean, the amount I have is infinite. Hence the reason why I want it. <laughs> but, I get the point. And I believe that should be the exit. So, the cave actually isn't as big as I thought it was. I mean, still, rather large cave. Just not as disgustingly big. And I thought I was about to crash. I don't think I would have logged back in if that was the case. Because I got my tech gear on and I don't think I would have died. At least I don't believe so. Either way, we have uh, successfully made it out alive. And now uh, the moment of truth considering, you know, everything that's happened and all situations and stuff. We just got out of the cave. We have the artifacts. That's beautiful. But uh, I'll tell you one thing. I 
cannot be asked to fly all the way back home. So we're taking the boots off. And please, son of a bitch. I just want to fall and die. I have 700 HP, so I kind of need to like position myself where I can take 700 HP of fall damage. Because I don't even think this is 700. I'm pretty sure without any boots on right now, because none of this is going to help me survive, this still won't kill me. Maybe it will. Nope, that's the tech gear. Okay, so I need to get the tech gear off of me because that apparently limits fall damage. I thought it was only the boots that did that. I'm very wrong. Also, there's a... Oh, there's a beacon right there. What's that little thing? Eh, I mean, beacons... Eh, I'm not really... I'd rather get home. A pink beacon, whatever. A red beacon. We find a red beacon. That's what I'm down for. Let me go and strip all of you. Please let me die. 700 HP. Thank you. Beautiful. I was gonna say, that was a little bit too little damage to have fallen from that high. But, hey, we got the artifact. That's what matters. Just kind of wanted to get that under wraps for right now. This is more of like a getting back into the game since I have been away for a few weeks. I think next episode tomorrow will be uh, a lot better. But, we can go ahead and take a look and see what the artifact looks like on the pedestal. Just to, just to see. Oh wait, artifact of the shadows needs to be on the trophy portion right there. Ooh, okay. A little less cool than it did look inside of the cave, but that makes sense. So we'll go ahead and pop you inside of... Where is it? Artifact of the Shadows? I didn't remove it. I did not remove it. Oh, you have to put it... Oh, you have to do... Got it. Remember how fickle Ark is sometimes. It's such a beautiful game, but <laughs> sometimes it kind of... Uh, you get the point. So, two of the three artifacts that we need. Uh, we'll be doing the other one inside of the element zone. I'd say probably within a couple episodes. Uh, tomorrow we'll just be taming a lot and, you know, getting back into that sense. But for right now, I just kind of wanted to revisit the game. I'm still loving it. I love this game. And, uh, yeah, should be pretty good. Thank you all for watching. Take care. We'll catch you all back next time. If you have any suggestions on the epilogues of the series for the last few episodes that we're doing here, please do let me know, and I will be sure to take them into consideration. Ciao!